Right now, we're headed to a local destination you should definitely put on your calendar this spring. Come with us to Tulip Tree Creamery, where WRTV photojournalist Corey Buck helped us get an inside scoop on the cheese and classes they offer. But what's your personal favorite? Oh, it's like saying who's my, which is my favorite child. It just depends on my mood. If I want a cheese that's more um, interesting and out there, I might pick our foxglove cheese, which is our beer wash rind, um, or our trillium, which is our mild and creamy cheese. If I just want something decadent, uh, something easy might be our fromage frais, which is just easy to spread on a cracker. We have about 15 different cheeses. Um, from fresh cheeses to short, soft, ripened cheeses, even all the way up to hard, long-aged cheese that, that are harder cheeses. Um, our Trillium cheese is our number one selling cheese. It has won awards uh, not only in the United States, but in Italy and in Spain. People don't always think about Indiana as a uh, dairy country, a uh, dairy state. And typically, people always start thinking about Vermont, Wisconsin. But we make some quite amazing products right here in Indiana. For us, it's very important, uh, the milk which we process, the where is it coming from, how, is, how are the cows being treated. We want to make sure that those cows are happy cows. We are buying from milk from one farm, so everything we buy is impacting one family. The farm name is Country Meadows. They are located in Hudson, Indiana, which is about three hours north, uh, northeast in the corner of the state. Um, they are a sixth generation dairy farm. Um, they primarily raise a mix of jerseys and other mixed breeds. We want cows to be as much as possible to be outside on pasture, eat the natural thing. When the cows are out there and they eat and uh, those nice herbs which are naturally growing there, it puts so much different flavor in that milk and, then, and that changes throughout the year. And then we get that chance here to, to play with that milk and, and create these products and get these flavors you know, into our cheeses. Um, and that's, I think, is just a great thing. Each breed of cow is going to have different genetics. They're going to have higher protein. Some breeds, like Jerseys, are going to have higher solids, which are the fats and the proteins in the milk, which we are the primary um, ingredients or components of making cheese. So Holstein is going to give us a lot more volume of milk, but their solids aren't going to be as high as like a Jersey mix in general. All the cheeses have the same basic steps. And then, but what it makes every cheese very different is how you work within those steps. What kind of parameters are you using? What kind of temperatures are you using? What kind of cultures are you using? And then it's like, okay, up to the cheesemaker, so you know, how do you work with that? Um, it's the tiny little details within that process which make all the, you know, the cheeses very different. We have five different classes right now we offer. The basic class is the fresh mozzarella making class where you make the mozzarella curd and then you stretch it. Um, another basic or level one class is the burrata ricotta class. A level two class would be our gouda class. And then you move up to also um, cheddar class and butter class. You'll find when you come, it's fun, but it takes time and skill and you can start at the basic level and move up, become, you know, become more advanced if you would like to, but um, it's definitely something that um, I think people will understand when you make cheese what it really takes to make cheese. If you come and buy cheese from us, you get to talk to the people who make the cheese, meet the cheese makers sometimes, meet the individuals who are putting their energy behind educating our cheeses, making our cheeses, and supporting what we're doing here. Now, if you want to make a trip to Tulip Tree Creamery or you'd like to sign up for classes, we got you all covered with the details on our website, WRTV.com and the WRTV mobile app. Just search for this story.